Salesforce portal is where users can come in, create tickets, view status of existing tickets, as well as browse the knowledge base. The self-service portal is web-based. Once on the site, they can log in with their Windows credentials. We can sync with AD to pull that information in. Once logged in, they will see the portal homepage. The portal homepage allows us to access different information. Looking here at these boxes, we have the ability to uh, search knowledge articles. So if a user is having an issue, they can come in, search the knowledge base. Uh, we can search a keyword. So if we search Adobe, we will then pull back knowledge base articles around Adobe. They can click on the knowledge base article. They can view it, whether or not it resolved their issue or not, and if they liked it or disliked it. If that did not resolve their issue, or if it's an issue that's not in the knowledge base, they can report an outage or an incident. Clicking on that link it brings us to this form. Uh, this is just a generic form where they can fill out information regarding the issue they are experiencing. Uh, they can fill out a, the description, whether or not it affects multiple users or prevents them from doing work, as well as add comments. Once submitted, we'll get a confirmation screen with our incident ID and will then be brought back to the portal homepage. And over on the right hand side, we can see whether or not we have open service requests or open instance. We can click on the number, it'll bring us to our existing tickets. We see we have our newest incident here at the bottom. Uh, we can click on that and then add more comments if we want. Uh, or we can add attachments. Back on the home page, we have the ability to look at the service catalog. The service catalog is dynamically updated based on the classifications within ShareWell. Users have the ability to scroll through, find the service that they need, and then open up a ticket from here. So if we look at employee support, we have add change and then we can do a new employee setup. Once loaded, we see that we actually have more information than we did uh, for the report an outage or an incident. Uh, this is accomplished through specific forms within ShareWell. Specific forms allow us to dynamically show different forms based on the classification chosen when submitting an incident. So we can go through and fill out this ticket. If we look through, as we scroll down, we can see that we can assign uh, specific hardware. If we have a certain hardware set, we can choose that uh, from the drop down. We can check boxes uh, for you know, ordering a laptop bag or a travel mouse. We can, we can do mobile devices. We can have standard software sets, and then any additional information. Now, out of the box, this request requires an approval, and then based off of these different checkboxes, so for example, network access needed, uh, once it's approved, automation on the back end will create the necessary tasks to accomplish this ticket, and it will automatically assign it to the people responsible. So if we can streamline business processes and minimize manual ticket creation. Now we click submit and we get an operation failed. Now the reason for this is that there is a required field. It tells us the description field must be filled in before it can be saved. So once we fill, that, fill in that information, the ticket will then save. Uh, service request 1022 07 and it will come back to the home screen and we'll see count increased and we can click that number to view our ticket if we wanted to.